Hey everyone, I wanna to talk today about something I just discovered that not a lot of people are talking about, and that is vibe coding. So what vibe coding is, is using AI to help you do something. And in this case, build an app, right? And I'm not an app builder, I'm not a coder, but I'm a very curious person, so I wanna find out how these things work so I made an app to pull and scrape SREF codes from my Instagram account and put them in an app. So that's available to you. So you can see the SREF codes that I like, that I've played with, that I've curated, and then you can get them and then you can try them out. That's the whole idea. I mainly did this just to learn how to do vibe coding, but the benefit is, guess what? Now you've got a fun resource for SREF codes that you already know are great because you can see what they are. So let me show you how this works. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes on the software that I use to build this app. So this is how it works. So I have an Instagram account. It's just my name, Marshall Atkinson. And then what it's doing is it's going to my Instagram and it's looking for some things. And if the right conditions are met, it's pulling all the information and putting it into this catalog. So let me just show you, I've got a bunch of these and these are all the SREF codes I've shared on Instagram. I've played with, I don't know, thousands of SREF codes, but these are the only ones that I've shared. So. There's a lot of really good stuff here. And so what I wanted to do is just kind of show you what this does. Now, for this particular guy, he's a skateboarder, right? It went to my Instagram and then it looks for some things. So down at the bottom, you can see, and this is what I want to show you. It's looking for this phrase, today's mid journey experiment. That's the first trigger that the app is using. It's using that to say, hey, this is the one I'm talking about. I share lots of stuff on my mid-journey experiments and not all of them are SREF codes. This is what the next trigger, dash dash SREF with a number. Now the number is different every single time because this number here, 948, blah, 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 blah. This is the number that's tied to this particular style of rendering art. And so you can click this button here and you can copy this SREF code so you can try it. That's the purpose of this, right? And then you can see the prompt below here. And here's the prompt that I used. If you want, you can copy that also. And then it's got some tags and everything. And if you want to see it on my Instagram, you can just click view on Instagram and it's going to pop it up. Here you go. This is the view. And then you can see it bigger, I guess. And you can also get the image if you want, right? So. Now, here's the thing, you can see, when did I do this? I added this to the catalog on August the 22nd, but I posted this on Instagram on May the 21st. By the way, I used a tool called Base44 to build this. And what this does is it scrapes all this stuff and catalogs it. And that's the really kind of a, the fun part here. Now, let me show you some different things with the app because it's kind of fun. First off, there's some filters here. So this is set up for the newest SREF codes will show first, but you can also do the oldest. Guess what? This is the first SREF code that I shared was this one. And I did this kind of batik style thing. If you want to check that out, here's another one. And you can kind of see I was playing with some different things. You can also do SREF codes based on the number, SREF code low to high. So here's one that's only 124. That's the SREF code. You can also do one that's high to low. Here's the highest one. And actually this one is using two SREF codes. So, you know, you can use a whole bunch of SREF codes. You don't have to just do one. Why do one when you can use two or five or six? You just have to remember to put a space in between each one. Otherwise it, it, it's not gonna work. So you can copy. And then you can get a little cartoon guy like this for whatever you're doing. You can also filter. So I've got all the tags set up here. So if you see something that you like, hey, what does that look like? Let's check out hamburger. It's gonna filter by hamburger. Now, 
The difference between these two, of course, is the S ref code. This one is 3013. This one is 101.22024. And the only prompt used, this was hamburger, I think this was cheeseburger. So it's really kind of the same thing. But what's really fun here is the S ref code is what makes this work. This produces these different styles. This is more of a pop art style. This is more of like an antique engraving style. That's what makes SREV codes so amazing. So I think you guys see the lay of the land. You know, there's some other fun things if you want. You can check out the analytics. You can see when was I doing lots of SREV codes. Other times I wasn't. There's other things here. So what I want to do is I want to show you the back end of Base44 and how I built it real quick, just because some of you might be a little curious on that. So let's take a look at that. So this is the back end to this particular part of my Base44 account. So what vibe coding is, is that you just type in whatever you want, and then the app, the AI, will do the coding for you. And then you don't have to know how to do any of that stuff, because I certainly don't. And then let me just kind of show you what I mean, right? I've got a change that I made. So I built the whole thing, and then I didn't like how something worked. And so I said, hey, I want to change how the app uses dates. Instead of ranking by when the item was uploaded, I want to rank by when the file was added to Instagram. Do you understand? And it says, yes, I understand perfectly, blah, 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 blah. And then it, it built the whole thing. It made the changes, what this means. It made an error and it fixed it by itself. I didn't have to do any of that. And then I tested it. And then once I was happy with the thing, I just hit this publish button and it pushes it out. And of course, it's super easy. It only takes a few moments. And that's why I think this is really something that you might want to play with. Not so much with mid-journey stuff, but maybe with a customer facing thing or a key performance indicator metric that you're looking at, some sort of dashboard. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to use vibe coding, but I know that I'm going to be using it for a ton of stuff going forward. This was just my little experiment to learn how to do it. And if you're a big follower of Midjourney and in particular SREF codes, you get the benefit from my curiosity by playing around with this and finding an SREF code that you like. Like here's a cute little squirrel. This, let's just look at them bigger on Instagram. <laughs> See, there you go. If you like this style, which is this really super highly detailed look, it also is the colors. So this kind of sagey green with this orangey berry, you're going to get that with that SREF code and you can play around with it on your end. Anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, if you'd like to learn more about how to use Midjourney better, we would love for you to join us on our Midjourney Experience community on the school platform. So just click the link in the description right up there and then we will see you there. So thanks for watching. Got a question, got a comment, whatever. Make sure you do that at, at the bottom there and please subscribe to the Midjourney Experience YouTube channel. Thanks a lot. Appreciate you guys. See you.